The long pause. Now the kick. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a slider. He has tied the major league record for strikeouts in a game with 20 strikeouts. Randy Johnson, Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens, and now Max Scherzer are the only pitchers in the history of this game to fan 20 in a game. Three and two. High fly ball to center, and that ball's hit. Upton going back. Back to the wall. Home run. No, he pulled it back. He took it right off the wall. The throw back to first. A double play. Downtown Houston, Texas on a Saturday night in Minute Maid Park. Tonight, game two of this three-game interleague series between the New York Mets and the Houston Astros. It's interleague baseball on MLB Network. Dallas Keuchel will be on the bump for game two of the series. What's your take on him, H? Well, I love watching this guy pitch, and particularly when he's got runners in scoring position. He's a guy that gets better when he has runners on base. So I'm looking forward to seeing if he gets in a jam. What does he do to get out of these jams where his numbers look so good with runners in scoring position? Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Perfect baseball weather, 82 degrees at first pitch tonight. And he lays off ball four. That's exactly what you want your leadoff man to do work the count and get on base. That is not, not the way he wanted That's to start off this it. half inning. And it's one ball. thing to walk the leadoff hitter, but it's even more painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. From the belt, kicks and deals. Sinking line drive out to right center. And that'll get down for a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Two strikes on him, and he flips Not one out third. to center field. You the couldn't have thrown that any further. better. Michael Conforto. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Reddick. So it's a three run shot to straight away right field. 19th home run for him on the season, and the Mets have taken a three to nothing lead. Yeah, he's looked pretty shaky from the first pitch, and things just kind of spiraled out of control from there. I think these guys smell blood in the water, and they punctuate it with a three run job and an early lead. Stepping in, Yoenis Cespedes. He enters play in the hunt for the league's home run crown, but he'll have some work to do down the stretch. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. A called strike over the outside corner. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains three and two. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. A payoff pitch one more time inside as he nearly got him and it's ball four 
Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks Not than other there. guys is exactly Second what we saw man. right there. Pitchers Milner. work around Four. them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. In there, one and two now. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed the guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. And that jammed him a bit there as it's fouled at the plate. Again, he sends it out of play. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Here's the 2 2. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. Now another 2 2. And another foul ball. Three runs already home here. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Reddick ranging back. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. And now a chance to meet the Mets. H, what are they going to have to do to force a rubber match in this series? Well, Matt, I really like this offense. You know, they're top third in home runs, so they can beat you that way. They put pressure on you. This is a really good ball club, but I do like how they have guys throughout the lineup that can hit the ball at the park. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Ready on one and two. Chopped weakly to the left. Scooped up on the backhand. They'll force it up to second, and they do get the out there. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Having seven. First baseman number two. Gavin Set to get his evening Chikini. at the plate started, Gavin Cicchini. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. 2-1, here it is. A high fastball is in there. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing at a high pop drifting into foul territory. Guriel is there to make the catch and the side is retired. But the Mets strike for three all coming courtesy of this three run home run. On to the bottom of the first. It's three nothing New York. Noah Syndergaard is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mets. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, he's been really good. He's got two wins in the last three starts. His team's had an opportunity to be in the game deep and late, and he's walked away, like I said, with two wins. So let's see if he's able to get three wins in four starts after this outing. Into the box now, Nori Aoki. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. One and two, here it comes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Digging for second is Aoki. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Into the box, George Springer. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. No one out with a runner at second. 
swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Time now for a quick look at the hometown Astros starting lineup. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, you really have to appreciate what Jose Altuve brings to this team. This guy has world-class speed, guys. He can fly. I love watching him run. So if you like watching a guy take over a game with his legs, he's your guy. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. First appearance for him here with the leadoff man still at second and one gone now. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Evan Gaddis now standing in. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Fastball called strike. One and two. Well, if you're wondering if he's going to be loose for this game, there's our answer. 98 in the first inning. He's going to be coming right after. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulder. Side retired. One left for Houston. They trail it here three to nothing. Settling in now, Rene Rivera. He'll begin things here against Dallas Keuchel. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. High pop up. Guriel is there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Well, let's Running take high. a look at the Strohs defensively Never brought to you by Majestic. 12. At Juan second base, Jose Lagarin. Altuve. He's a gold glover. You know why? He always had arm strength, but he didn't always catch the ball consistently. He worked his tail off and became a guy that could catch the ball, and now he can throw it. He's impressive out there. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And Harold, these Astros entering play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Well, Matt, they're two and two on the homestand, so obviously you don't want to go two and three if you lose this game here. Three and two, though. The win today gets you shooting towards maybe a nice little winning streak. That's why this game's important to me. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Well, he's really laboring in the early going here. That's his third walk of the game already. We'll see if he can get it together or if this is just one of those days where he's going to have to grind his way through this start. Striding in once again, Jose Reyes. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Sliced hard on the ground. Gonzalez for one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So after the three spot last time around he's able to bounce back and hang a zero here on now to the bottom of the second. Stepping in is Josh Reddick and he's been tearing the cover off the ball these past few days as you see there. Here it comes on one and one. There's a fastball right over the inside corner and then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah stuff stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it but he does and he really spotted that pitch slap hard the opposite way but he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And at third base, the captain, Captain America, David Wright. I love the fact that he still has great footwork. The first step may be as good as anybody in the history of the game. He can still catch it, but I love that first step. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese, swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Into the box now, Yulieski Guriel. 
And that misses two and one. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, last game they just didn't play well. They gave up a lot of runs, really sloppy. So when you play that sloppy, you're not going to win games. Now a check swing here and a little looper. And Wright will make the catch to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Astros. Still down, three, nothing. Digging in to try it again as Drupal Cabrera, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. 1-1 one, one pitch coming now to Cabrera. And that one stayed too low, apparently. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Well, this has been a good job to work to count from 0-1 to 3-1, and and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Michael Conforto. He went deep in his first at bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. He pulls this one into right. Reddick is there, and he has it for the out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. How about it? Right fielder, Yoannis. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Yoannis Cespedes reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Here it comes on one and one. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. And this guy loves to throw the slider, and it's a very effective pitch for him. But here's the flip side of that coin. He starts this one too far inside and plunks the hitter. for his second at bat Wilmer Flores 0 for 1 here in the early going and he lays off for a ball 2 and 1 boy he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already he's starting to lose location of that strike zone he's got to throw a strike right here Swing and there it goes deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back into the Crawford boxes and gone. So a three run blast to straight away left. Sixth home run on the season for him as they pile on. It's now six to nothing. Well, he's given up two long balls in just two and a third innings of work. So it seems as though they might have his number here. Not sure how much more the manager wants to see. He needs to turn it around quick if he wants to stay in this one for a while. In now, David Wright. Outside, two and one. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way. and. He's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now he needs to think about this hitter. And that slider must have been low. It's ball three. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Up onto the train tracks, but it's a foul ball. That's a shame. It had plenty of distance. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. Once again, a 3 2. Swing and a line drive. But this will be foul. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Reddick. Gone! Back to back homers.
So a solo shot here for David Wright. Career number 247 as this lead swells to seven to nothing. I'll tell you, the guy in the bump is wishing there was a mercy rule in professional baseball right about now. Hey, but there's no such luck. He's just got to own those back-to-back -back homers and the rest of it until he gets off the hook, which might be very soon. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. Stepping in now, Gavin Cicchini. Can't find the zone there, and it's 3-1. and one. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. Too high, and that cost him ball four. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Here comes the Astros skipper up out of the Houston dugout, and we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. Brady Rogers is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Rene Rivera will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Four runs here in this half inning. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. I'm not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching, kind of keeping him off balance. Another try at 2 2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. There to take it is Aoki, and there are two away now. The center fielder number 12. Here's Juan Ligares. Juan he drew a Ligares. base on balls his first time up. A runner on first with two away. Hey. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. Oh, in time, and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Mets are out on top, seven to nothing. Stepping in, Marwin Gonzalez. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. He's through first and hustling for second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. And this might be the kind of A.B. that gets him out of that slump. Smart hitting here, just going with the pitch, using the whole field instead of trying to do too much. The results speak for themselves. At the plate, Alex Bregman. And the average isn't pretty. Down into the roaring 220s to begin the ballgame. A runner at second, nobody out. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Here's the two one. Takes a knee high fastball. Even at two balls and two strikes here's the pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. Here comes the payoff pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Another full count pitch home. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away. So the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. The left fielder, number three. Here's Nori Aoki. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. He's set. Here's the 3 0. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Runner at second here with one man out. 
Three and two. Three balls, two strikes. He's set. Here's the three and two. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Throw gets him. Two down. Sliding into the box. George Springer. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Men on third with two down. Now a ball line foul up and over the Astro dugout. The next 3 2. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Astros leave one. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7 0. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Ready to deliver the one and two. A little bouncer. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Here's another 2 2. Popped up. Bregman calls for it. One out. So the leadoff man sat down here for Esdrubal Cabrera. Seven runs on only four hits. And no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he misses ball four. Ready for another shot now. Michael Conforto comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Change up. Good pitch there. One and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Hit sharply on the ground. And a reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. Well, that's a tough one right there. If that ball's at somebody, probably a double play. It? But as a result, it's one of those seeing eye singles. Just found the hole. Into the box, Yoenis Cespedes. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. Two and two count, here it comes. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Wilmer Flores will be next. And there he goes towards second hit hard to third. Bregman fields it cleanly. A step on the bag for one. Relay to first in time and just like that this side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit. No errors and a man left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Mets seven and the Astros nothing. Ready now. Jose Altuve comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. On the move is Ligares, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. Digging hard. He's headed for third. 
And the Astros are in business to start the inning. A leadoff triple. So he's in at third to kick off the inning as you take a look at the league leaders in triples. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Now at the plate, Evan Gaddis. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Slider and he touches 90 with that one. It's one and two. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Now another one two. Pitch is popped up. Cindergaard will take it himself for the first out of the inning. Into the box, Josh Reddick. Over right one for him here in this Josh one. Reddick. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now here in the middle innings. He's up over one in the inning up to this point. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play, but right now, that's just not happening. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One left for Houston. They're down by a touchdown, 7 0. Digging in once again, Wilmer Flores. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Here's the one and one delivery. Missed with the curveball there, and he falls behind a two and one. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Waiting in the on deck circle is David Wright. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. So striding forward now, David Wright. He went deep last time up. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Well, he walked the first batter to the inning. Now he finds himself down 3 1 count. I tell you what, he's in danger right here. Got to throw strikes and get back in this thing because walking and bad counts adds up to a big inning for the offense. On to first, and that'll take care of right a double play. Gavin Chikini. Ready once again. Gavin Chikini comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. On the ground to third. Bregman gloves it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans, but they're still in control, seven to nothing. Ready for another chance, Yulieski Guriel. He leads off from the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Ground ball left side, backhanded. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Now at the plate, Marwin Gonzalez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Ready to deliver the one and two. Slow bouncer to the right side. That's a foul ball. No runs, three hits. No errors in the ball game for the Astros to this point. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. 
So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you see there, he finds himself in sixth place in the category in the National League. And that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Alex Bregman. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. Over the bleachers and onto the concourse, a home run. A solo shot here to left, 12 home runs for him now thus far, and they're now on the board, though still well behind. As we take a look at the pitch location here, you could see that the pitch wasn't even in the strike zone, but clearly that didn't matter. Into the box now, Nori Aoki. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Lagares looks up, and it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs. A solo home run here for Nori Aoki. Eighth home run on the season for him, and it's a 7 2 game now. Hey, that's not an easy thing to do to go back to back when the guy in front of you goes deep you walk up to the plate and you feel like hey I'm going to do what he just did how about that back to back bombs standing in now George Springer and he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here and the side is retired some more of the Colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Digging in to try it again. Rene Rivera. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Hit out towards second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The center fielder number 12. Juan Stepping in Ligaris. and ready for another shot. Juan Ligaris. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Hits are even right now at five aside. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Here's the one and two delivery. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw on to first, two gone. Shortstop number seven, Jose. Striding Reyes. in once again, Jose Reyes. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Again, a one two. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it two and two. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate and the count holds it two and two. High in the air out to center field. Springer has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three. They're on top seven to two. Ready for another shot now. Jose Altuve, one for two with a triple so far in this one.
He sends it out to left field. Well hit. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. And the Astros get something started right away. It's a leadoff double. That's what good hitters do. You get a pitch you like and you just explode on it. He blasted that one over the left fielder's head for an easy double. once again Evan Gaddis it's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point the 0 2 delivery and he struck him out so double digits now 10 strikeouts for him thus far that's 10 strikeouts for him now and I'll tell you he could rack up quite a few more before he's done still a lot of game left in this one Stepping in is Josh Reddick. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Here's the 3 1. A fastball right over the outside corner. Matt, I thought he might be in jeopardy of walking the guy here for the first time in this game. Went down 3 0, but he's come all the way back 3 2 now, and I think he'll just make. Oh, what a stop on the slide. That's off to that one. Digging in the switch hitter, Carlos Beltran. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. And the pitch on 2 and 1. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Two outs here with a runner at third. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full 3 and 2. Now on 3 and 2 as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Pulled toward right center field. Lagares is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Astros leave one. They're down five. It's seven to two. Back here at Minute Maid Park in Houston. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. It was a walk in his last trip. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Ready on one and two. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Gaddis corrals it, and the throw is there to record the first out. Digging in and looking for more, Michael Conforto. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. One out, nobody on. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, wondering if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him, and hey, that's part of the game. In now, Yoenis Cespedes. Just a touch inside, perhaps. It's two and one. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen are you kidding me nobody goes five innings anymore change up called a strike and he comes back even at two and two I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the change up right there that's how we got the two and two count I think he comes back with a change up here back up the middle and that's through for a hit So coming to the plate, Wilmer Flores comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Looking for the strikeout, here's the one, two. Hit hard to the right side, but foul, so we'll see if he can straighten that out. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. One, two pitch is a slider that misses. Two and two. First and second now, one man out. On, 
in front of the change up there as this is chopped foul at home plate. Another 2 2 offering. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Now both runners are breaking. Rounded down the third baseline. Oh, but it's thrown away at second. And that will allow a run to score. And those are plays that cost you ball games. You're already losing, and then you make an error like that to compound things. That's how things snowball on you, and you start to feel like you can't do anything right. in now David Wright grounded softly to the right throw to first not in time as the run is across to score infield singles innocent as it may sound that might be a rally starter right there two. Gavin Chikini. Into the box, Gavin Cicchini nipped the corner, two and two. A full count, three balls and two strikes. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No oh, doubt he was completely Patrick. fooled because Renee that was a curveball, and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end, and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. Standing in now. Rene Rivera in there and it's full three and two. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Hit out towards second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So two runs on two hits, one error in the inning, and two left. Time to get up and stretch here at Minute Maid Park. Mets out in front, nine to two. Digging in once again, Yulieski Guriel, 0 for two on his line thus far. Here's the one and one pitch. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Hard sinker misses two and two. All even at two and two. Here it is. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Conforto ranging back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. Around second now, and this ball still hasn't been fielded. And the Astros are in business to start the inning. A leadoff triple. Shortstop, Marwin Gonzalez. Into the box now, Marwin Gonzalez hit hard towards center. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Well, that ball right there, Matt, he hit it hard. We saw it. He smoked it to the outfield. This may be a sign. Pitcher's starting to get a little bit tired. He's starting to make some mistakes. He's leaving some balls over the plate. Nobody out, runner on first. Now, time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. 
Well, now here comes the Mets manager Terry Collins on his way to the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. Tired a bit as he reached the seventh, but he's got a shot at the victory if his bullpen can help him out. Hansel Robles comes on to start the inning, and he'll have a huge lead to work with. And this is going to be a foul ball. The one and two pitch. Grounded foul. Still two strikes. A runner at first with no outs here. Another one sent foul. Swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send it. Get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. There to pull it in, Ligaris, and there are two away now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Here's George Springer. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Oh, and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. Two out with the man at first. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. Conforto is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Astros plate one on a couple of hits. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mets nine and the Astros three. Chris right, Devensky comes on to pitch now, now hoping for, for better Astros. results than the other Number arms that they've run out there in this one. Here's Juan Ligares. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. The pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. The number nine hitter reaches base safely to start the inning. So here comes the top of the order with a man aboard. Jose Reyes. In now Jose Reyes at the knees for a called strike and it's back to even at two and two. Cut that runner down. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Ready with another 2 2. Grounded to short. Gonzalez is there. Altuve for one. On to first and yet another double play. They're fourth of the night and there are quickly two gone here. And just a two hopper to short. Can't ask for anything easier than that and they roll up your basic 6 4 3 double play. Into the box as Drubal Cabrera. He swings and grounds it to short. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Oh, the changeup executed nicely, and he's still got a ground ball. The they got the base hit. He got his ground ball. He Michael did everything he wanted to do. Sancorto. Sometimes it just doesn't work out for him. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. 
He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. He's set. Here's the three one. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Right fielder. Here's your one assessment. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Fastball close, but he didn't get it 2 and 1. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on, but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. He's set. Here's the 2 2. On the ground to the left side. Bregman has it. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Mets lead this one 9 to 3. Now batting, Jose Altuve. He bats here with a double and a triple on his line in this one. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Grounded back up the middle. That gets through for a base hit. He's now 3 for 4 in this one. So the Astros put a man aboard to get the inning underway. That's just a great baseball play. The pitcher executed his pitch, but the hitter was better, stayed with it, got a ball down, and drove it through. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Taking all the way that time, it's three and one. Well, with the leadoff man getting on right there, Matt, they are falling so far behind, they have to capitalize. They have to get some runs to get back in this thing. And he drops a change in on him there, and that'll run it full three and two. Payoff pitch on its way. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. This one pretty well in the bag. Ninth inning coming up. The Mets lead it 9-3. to three. Set to start the ninth now from Space City, Houston, Texas, as we continue our MLB Network presentation. So digging in now, Wilmer Flores. An error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hey. Leaves a change up high for a strike. Right. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he won't go after the cut fastball two and two. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Now a flare out toward right center. Reddick has the best view of this one so he'll take it for the first out. The third baseman number five striding into the box David Wright he went deep earlier and he's two for four to this point. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes lined hard toward right center again a nice clean base hit his third of the game. He gets another hit, his third hit of the game. Now, he's been ice cold to play recently, so maybe we're First seeing baseman. signs of him coming Gavin out of it. Chikini.
Standing in now, Gavin Cicchini. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. The set and the two and one pitch. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Runners on first with one down. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now. Three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And there goes right. Chop foul over towards the dugout. The next three two on the move again from first. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Payoff pitch one more time. Running yet again for second. Line to the right side. In there, a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. I love running the guy on the 3-2 count. You know the pitcher's okay. going to be around the, the plate. And if you got a guy who can handle the bat like this Benet guy right here, Rivera. you put the ball in play, and now you get the base hit on top of it, and you're sitting first and third. Beautiful. In now, Rene Rivera. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Ready on one and two. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up. Altuve for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More from MLB Network. Saturday baseball after this. Here Rafael Montero play. enters now from the pen the to man. begin the frame with a Number sizable 50. lead with which to Rafael. work. Montero. Here's Carlos Beltran. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. The 3 1 to Beltran. Squared that one up just a little late. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. This is driven to right, and no doubt about it, that one's way out of here. Gone into the upper deck. A solo shot here for Carlos Beltran. Number 21 for him on the season. As they try to claw back, it's a five-run deficit. Well, he hit a homer last night, too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff, don't give him anything. He can extend his arms on. You do, and he's going to make you pay for it just like he did. Into the box now, Yulieski Guriel. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. And he'll get into third here on the fly out, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. Number two. 
So Alex. striding forward Bregman. now, Alex Bregman. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. Here's the one and one pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. From the stretch. There's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. It's up and out of here into the archway. So a two run shot to left center is second of the game. And just like that, it's down to a three run ball game. In any other game, hitting four home runs might feel great, but they've hit four and they're still losing. Tough to figure, but the map doesn't lie. Into the box, Nori Aoki. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Ready for another chance? George Springer. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. A.J. Ramos comes on here looking to get the final two outs and earn the save. A.J. Ramos. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. He'll try it again, 3 and 2. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. The second baseman, number Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. And he'll complete the cycle if he can blast one over the wall here. Ready with the 1 and 1. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. A pick for the Astros. So striding Gattis. forward now, Evan, Evan Gaddis. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Second and third, two away. Foul back. Saws him off here as this ball is popped into the air. And he'll put this one away for the final out. And the Mets have come back to even up this series at a game apiece as this ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Nine to six, the final tally in this one. Noah Syndergaard earns a league best 20th win as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. Dallas Keuchel allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Nine runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left 11. The 2 0. Each row to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall. 3,000 is in right field, and each row is racing for third. And he's done it. He's climbed the mountain. A triple. And he has arrived at 3,000. Line drive left field. That's it. Number 1,000 for Jose Altuve.